Hey guys, kid here. If you like the commentating, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more. And uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy this episode. Hello everybody, this kid Nigerian Twelve here, and I'm giving you guys a little bit of a dumb dumb tutorial on how to use command blocks for all those who you want to know. And when I've watched many tutorials, I've been there. There's been like, well, in order to use a command block, you must have something super technical that I don't remember what they said and I was just like you know what this is not no need for all that it's just you put it down you type in a command you use something to activate it like a pressure plate and you call it a day not really hard okay and for all you want to know this is the Sfax texture pack I recommend you go download it because it is probably the best texture pack Minecraft has to offer if your computer can handle it I mean, look at that. Look, look at how good that wood looks. Oh my god, I would just, I would so. <sighs> Oops, sticky keys. <laughs> uh, okay, but getting back to the tutorial. Okay, so, yes. Since this is a tutorial for idiots, you might not know in this texture pack that this is a command block, but just for purposes, I'm going to switch the texture pack back so you all can, you know, just kind of see what it looks like in a regular texture pack. Okay. So this is a command block, and this is how they look. In order to use them, you must be in creative mode, and your your server. If you want to use it on a multiplayer server, you must have it enabled in a server properties file. And if you're just on a regular vanilla um, single player, then you need to create your world with cheats on and just be in creative mode to use it. That's pretty much it. Okay. So if you want us to use a command, let's just say uh, let's start with the game mode. If I wanted to change my game mode without actually having to type anything, you do slash game mode in the command. And these little at P at R at A things indicate the near indicate players. As you can see, you target the nearest player, which is basically the person who activates it. So if you if there's a, I'm gonna put a button in front of it. So let me just what let just just witness. Just witness. Oh Jesus. Okay, and I'm gonna get a wood block. And I'm gonna place a button. Slash game mode. LFP. Did I do it right? I'm pretty sure I did it right. Oh, there we go. I don't. So I don't get why sometimes it doesn't work. Like, what it? What did I do? Must have been the capitalization. But as you can see, it changes my game mode. And I'm gonna add another one. And I'm gonna do slash game. Mode. I think you have to like have it so it's um. So well, I just got distracted by that message. Refocus. I think you have to have it so that uh, you it's not in caps or anything. It has to be like exactly the command or else it won't work. So if I do slash game mode 1. Oh wait, I won't be able to use it. As you can see, it'll be like you must be an op player in creative mode. So let's just go back in creative mode. Okay, now we can do it. So that's game mode 1. Oh right, at a, no, P. So, now I'm in creative mode. And so, basically, the only main thing you need to know about it is like, what the, what, what just happened? Wow, I have a text message from my mother and we live in the same house. Uh, <laughs> yeah, ah, text away. Um, I don't know what, what happened to this one. Um, let me just replace that just for showing purposes. Okay. Okay, like I said, the only main thing you really need to know is that when you're inputting commands, you just have to do the command and you have to add this little at p at, at a thingy if you want to indicate a certain player. But other than that, that's pretty self explanatory. And there's a few minor tweaks to it. And why do I keep getting rid of my command black? Command black. Command black. Okay. So if you want to give a player an item, you have to like indicate that player before the item. So if I wanted to do slash give, you have to do at p. 
See, you, you have to um type this in for the player. Like I said, the nearest player basically means the person who is using the command block. And have wanted to give him some. I don't know what this is. 276 is probably something. Probably food. And you have to type in how much you want to give him. So you can say like 23, 44, 44, 53, 56. <laughs> Saying different numbers, typing in different numbers. Okay, we're gonna say 21. And let's just get that. And I have 21 diamond swords. I was way off for food. No. Okay, so as you can see, this has to go before. If you put it after it, it won't work because it won't know who to give it to. So just remember, just for the dummies out there, just remember that this at p goes after give not hard right not hard yep and um i'm trying to think if there's one more thing usually game modes won't yeah i'm about to say i thought i said it for all players but usually game modes won't be set at all players but you can that's pretty much for every command there is like so let me um do a slash help so you can see here goes all the commands right here you can do Wow, I shouldn't have did that. Now it makes it hard. Um, you can do a slash tail time, blah, 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 blah. And usually if you're going to do that and it's not directed to a player, you just use this and you place the uh, player indicator after the command. But if you have a, like something like slash give, then you place it before the, uh, before the item ID or whatever or F. I mean, the player indication for this is after the command. And so is this, but you, um, I'm trying to think of another one that, that does it. So if I do a slash, um, slash, 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 no, I don't think there is. Wait, maybe there is slash XP slash. Okay. So like again, like I said, let's just do this XP and then I'll probably be done with it. Okay. So it's still going to be slash XP. 500 at p because you can see in in the um in the usage command it has to be slash xp amount and the player is this thing right here and let me place a button okay and yeah see you just have to place it before but uh guys that was uh command blocks for dummies and i hope you enjoyed it and maybe you are a little bit more knowledgeable about it. If you want me to, like, show you when it'll be useful or go a little bit more in depth with it, just let me know and I will do that. But, guys, this is Command Blocks for Dummies. I hope you enjoyed it and subscribe. And, yeah, I'll be doing more tutorials for dummies because I know there are Minecraft dummies out there because I was one. And I don't want you to feel the same. Bye-bye now.